everyone. I am with an avatar creator and world creator named CC567. They make clone maps, combat maps, normal chill maps. They make their own clone avatars. They make their own avatars in general. And I have them here to physically discuss the misconceptions when it comes to avatar creation, which a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people go into avatar making and think it's going to be easy, think it's going to be an easy thing to do. It All of this stuff is going to come naturally. And that's not true, which is why I've brought them, a fellow avatar creator, onto the scene to have a second set of eyes and another personal opinion. So when it comes to making your maps, um, we're going to start with your maps, if that's okay with you. That's totally fine. Um, when you're making your maps... And you you start off making these maps in Blender, correct? Or do you use Unity? Mm -hmm. uh, I use Blender, and I get some of my maps from Gmod, some I actually make. Well, when you're making all these maps, uh, what what are some of the things you got to go through to get these maps working for VRChat? Well, what I have to do is um, I got I. I have this uh, tool called VTF Edit and Crowbar to actually get the maps from Steam. I rip those maps and I put it into Blender uh, when I export it. Um, and what happens is I have to actually white paint the whole entire map, make sure everything's good and ready to go so it can all, it, it can all be optimized for VR chat. And the white painting part is not easy because if some of the maps are very big and they have like, you know, little tiny parts, uh, like, you know, buildings or whatever, you have to get, make sure every single part is covered with the whole entire, uh, uh, I guess, white, white painting, as you could say. Um, and adding an armature and, and doing all that is... Not easy at first for a beginner, and also same thing with weight painting. It's not easy at first, especially when making avatars. Avatars is much more difficult than making maps. I will say that. That that's totally honest, because there's a lot of weight painting issues with avatars, especially ones that I'm still creating. Um, but but that. Uh, I usually do that so everything can be optimized so people don't really lag as much and it does help and honestly does help you I don't I don't think you uh, I, I have map. I I did not die in that map that that event could have went better I, I'm not gonna lie it could have gone better yeah. and we we both know this <laughs> For, for first the last well, somebody kind of mixed them up. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, with avatar wise, uh, you want to start off with the basics. You want to first get uh an avatar that is easy that doesn't have uh stuff basically you know like armor or uh you know basically like a clone trooper kind of uh thing or whatever you want to get like a basic avatar that you want to start start off first then you would want to go onto youtube and learn the tutorial from there because that's where i learned i learned from youtube i've done it until i i looked at the videos until you know i got it right until uh everything was good everything was perfect i know what to do by heart and I started doing it my own way. And that's how this avatar actually came out. Uh, textures are not mine. A friend of mine made this. And, and But the avatar is mine. I made this whole into avatar myself. And well, when it comes... I can make my textures, but... Well, when it comes to clone mm -hmm. servers, there there's a lot of clone servers who misconstrue, like, other game assets for... VR chat assets and VR chat assets for other game assets, and do, does that more of come 
from the skill of the person to um, the reuse of some assets to build. Because I, I know some people reuse certain things from certain games that's, to help with that. That's called, cool. it's basically called recycling assets to make something that's not from, that's not supposed to be in a game, in the game that they actually import it inside, like how I did with Gmod stuff, like the Gmod maps that I made, that I got. Um, and that's not actually cre- quote-unquote creating, that's just, you know, taking some Something what's not really made for this game. Um, but for what you actually make in Blender, you actually have to physically sculpt it. You have to physically make textures for it in Blender, and that's what I do sometimes. Um, my my model is one of those models that was made using Blender, using Substance as well, and a lot of people confuse it for um, Second Life because the feet look like uh look like they're from second life the head looks like the bento head from second life Mm -hmm. and a lot of people confuse it because they they don't understand that even though something can appear like it came from another game um some creators are good when it comes to creating this some have made it to professional level where they can build all this stuff from scratch. They can make it. They can sculpt it. And would would you confirm that claim where like you've had situations where you've accidentally thought an avatar came from an actual game and not from VR chat? Yeah, I've had. Um, because like I said, this actually came from the game, and. I th- I thought that it was uh, uh, I thought it was like a VR chat avatar because I got uh, I when I made this um I did not I did not know that it was from the actual game that I seen because I I basically ba- backtraced it and see if uh see if it was okay to take it yeah and. I had to fix a lot of things with this avatar. <laughs> it was not fun. Um, <laughs> the the fingers were kind of messed up. You know how they had like the bent yeah. fingers and everything. Like I I have that uh, on my clones too. E- even though I made one through like my classes, and I'm working on building a phase one right now for my game gen class, which is my my new phase two. Literally came out of my game gen classes because. Uh, I have I already had like someone s- help me sculpt something out. I made sure that I could reuse textures from a different game because uh, I was lazy. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I was lazy, but I wanted to make a new backpack so that it it looked like it was actually physically attached to the armor. So I sat in a call with one of my teachers, and I sat there. And they they watched as I way painted it on to the back of it. I sculpted all of my straps on. I made sure that it lined up. I didn't way paint the like straps on the ammo thing because didn't make sense to way paint that on because it saved time. I I do. I want to make this optimize so as much as I can. <laughs> but but I like to make my avatars to the point where, like, you can remove certain things that you don't want. Uh, I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be something reusable that anyone in my class could grab it, take it, and use it. Because uh, I have a lot of people who make games with me in my classes. Some of them work on two game, two D games. Some of them work on old seventeen hundred games. I sort of don't see the appeal of them, but they're they're still they're still cool games. You gotta admit, the animations for those games were cool. They were awesome. The they were the stepping stone to what we have now. 
And a lot of people take those games for granted because VR chat probably wouldn't be what it is today and chill out VR wouldn't be its own thing and all of these new VR games, VR headsets probably wouldn't exist if it wasn't for those games. Those games didn't exist and there weren't people Listen, willing to... We need a proper to, MMO. Uh, or... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need we a proper need MMO. MMO. I mean, the, the still the best first-person shooter is the old classic Doom. Uh, I'm just saying it now. The old classic Doom. It may have been just a 2D game that made it feel like it was 3D, but that that is a cool thing to do with just no, having no, I 2D. I like for VR, we need an MMO. Oh, we need a fucking MMO for this. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, um, if I could actually <laughs> change avatars real quick to show, um, <laughs> where is it? There you are. This, uh, Mando right here is my Uro Scarada that I got from, you know, I got from Gary's Mod, of course. Yeah. Well, not really... <clears throat> Uh, not really the, you know, the body, but the comma and the pauldron, I actually way painted to the shoulder, as you see. Yeah. But when I bend a certain way, I don't know if you can see that uh, a little portion sticking out. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, I still need to fix that. Like I said, way painting is not easy at all. <laughs> <laughs> I've been having so many issues with this, but... It's, it's coming out pretty well. I, I do say so myself because I really do like this common poll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, you, you've brought up way painting quite a few times while you've been talking about avatars and worlds. Do, do you mind going into further detail of what way painting is for people who do do not know what it is or people who are interested in it? And making their own avatars who should be aware of what it is when it comes down to getting well, deeper into it. I'll, I'll explain the best I can. Because uh, I, I know some, not, uh, not a lot. Because um, I'm still learning myself. They, no, nobody just, you know, knows everything and then, you know, is just professional at it. They're still learning. So, uh, way painting is basically when. Uh, you you have working finger bones. You there's a bone that you can attach to the mesh. Where weight painting is a thing to have. Weight painting is basically to attach the bone to the mesh, so everything can move with your avatar, or it could make your textures more optimized for a world or your avatar itself, etc. And it's it's basically a good tool to learn if you are making your own customized avatar. Because I've seen people make their avatars for, actually from scratch, you know, building it from the armature up yeah. and sculpting it. Uh, I had a couple of friends. I've watched that too. And sculpting's not easy. <laughs> I, I can confirm I this plan. That it, 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 it's a bitch and a half. Um, coming from yeah, someone I who's saw, done I it for it their classes, because I've, I've literally had to. Um, I, I don't like asking for help from my teachers at all. <laughs> and, and and they can confirm this claim. I don't like asking for help. Yeah. <laughs> But um, well, if, you need help, it, you need if help. I'm like stuck, stuck, and I can't figure something out, I I will ask. But I'll find a way to beat around the bush to sort of make it seem like I need the help, but n without saying that I need help. But when when it comes That's to so avatar, weird. when it comes to avatar creation, honestly, don't be too afraid to ask someone for a little bit of help. E even if it's for a texture that you want to retexture something to, because retextures are easy. 
Um, some yeah. people are some people will charge you from for it. Some people won't, but it, it varies on the complexity of what you're asking for. If it's a very basic retexture, do do you really see anyone ask for money? Yeah. And then if they're like asking for add-ons to like emissions and it's all like, that it's stuff, like 10, it's like ten, ten, fifteen dollars plus, like you know, the minimum is ten, yeah. fifteen dollars. That's it. But but uh, when it comes to requesting or like buying your own custom avatar, that that can range from like fifty to over a hundred dollars, and. Yep. Um, I, I know for some of you people, you think, oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, that that's stu- stupid. I don't believe that. Um, I can confirm this claim because the model I am using right now, this is a basic retextured model. I had a friend do it for me, and I bought this model off of Gumroad from Ghostly. If you don't know who Ghostly is, Ghostly is an avatar maker who makes foxes, furry avatars on Gumroad, and um, coming from an avatar maker point of view, um, we, we don't like it when it comes down to people sharing our assets for free, and like when we ask not That's to. That's why I always thrive in my worlds, because I'm... Yeah. I'm afraid of, you know, rippers and stuff, and also privating my avatars because of rippers. No, uh, it doesn't really matter, because rippers can get us either way. True. But, uh, it, it, it gives us our sense of security. Because we already know the model's going to be scuffed the moment they rip it out. Yeah. And it's going to lose 90% of its shit. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, what 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 is your thoughts of like people sharing like people's assets or like avatar assets um when they've asked specifically for people not to? Well, that I think is just pure disrespect and other and utterly just dumb to do because you're getting that person's trust for you not to do that. And that's literally breaking trust. And if they find out that you were that person, you kind of lost that friendship and you're kind of banned from all the service. And I don't think you guys want to be banned from service. Uh, I, 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 enjoy, I enjoy Ghostly's not. models. I don't want to get banned from their shit. So Some of exactly. the Ghostly models I have, I literally lost my... Actually, I didn't really lose it. I sort of forgot which email I used. So I can't even update those ones. And the one that I got my panda on, I remember because that's my primary email. Because I used that as my fallback one to get the panda because I really wanted their panda model. But some of the ones that I have from Ghostly, I I can't even update because of that. And I don't even know what email it was. I, I don't even think I remember what email i had for it it's it's one of those scenarios where you have the person who has a shit ton of like emails and they, they've just forgotten what exact email you know what i mean yeah oh by the way uh with this model i actually did wait paint the comma here if um it's around the comma right here that's ripped and teared and stuff. I actually weight painted that to the hip. Um, weight painting is like I said, you basically just make sure it's good and it's basically attached to the body so it can actually move proper with the body. And that's what you see here. This is what weight painting is. Not, not, not the comma that's moving, that's dynamicals, but from where the hip hip is where the hip area is where it's attached that's what it is basically that's <laughs> basically the attachment of the components to the model itself yes now um the, there's a common misconception when it comes to avatar creating and all of us creators know this 
Um, it's the skeleton of the model. A lot of people think, um, let's set up the default skeleton on this model that we just pulled off of, well, wherever you got it from. And they think that's going to make it pretty much good and hunky-dory and ready to go. Now, I'm going to say, say this, and they're probably going to go over why this is not actually true. Because when it comes down to this, this is not the case. Yes, you have your skeleton rig, rigged up, but you're going to have a lot of issues where there's going to be bones that are not set properly. You're going to have bones you got to go back in and place in the proper spot. You're going to have all and these bones that are not supposed to be there. Not only that, but the weight painting issue, especially that with certain areas could not actually be weight painted to where you want them to be weight painted. So, so it actually, like, there's no points sticking out or, like, stretching weird. Yeah. Instead, I had a lot of issues like that. Like, uh, what some people don't understand is some people who make models on this game, and you, you confirm this, is we remove the toe bones. And yes. the, the main toe reason for... Removed from this avatar. The, the reason for that is we get something, if you do not remove that, called tippy-toeing. And if you're hovering above the ground and you're not level to the ground, it looks like you're on your tippy-toes. And, and they can confirm this. And a lot of us don't like that feel. We want to feel like our feet are planted to the ground at all times, even if we're hovering just an inch off the floor. Because VR chat sometimes has an issue where, like, you'll go into seated play, you'll be hovering off the floor a couple inches, or, like, a few inches off the ground, and you'll be tippy-toeing. So our way to get around that is we just remove the toe bone. Yes, um... Sometimes Unity can yell at you for it. We both can confirm this. It sometimes does. Sometimes. Not all the time. Most of the time, it's just fine with it. It's rare. It's, it, rare. It, it, it's a rare occurrence. If it's yelling at you for it... But with clone avatars, it never, it never yells at you. Yeah. But, uh... Well, when now we're gonna move on to texture work. When it comes down to making textures um, for avatars and your worlds, um, what what is what is your preference of what 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 type of thing do you prefer to use basically when you're working on all of these? Because there's people who that... use Substance Painter, GIMP, Photoshop. What well, which which is your preferred preference? Photoshop. Photoshop is your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> for for me, uh, I'm a little different. I use GIMP because I can't afford Photoshop, so it, it's my cheaper There's method. There's something called a crack version. There, there is. <laughs> <laughs> which I have currently. I wish I had that. <laughs> I had it for three years and it's worked so good. Now, now for people who don't know what like GIMP and some GIMP Substance Painter and Fo all of us know what Photoshop is because yeah. we, we've used it at some point to make funny cat memes or do something stupid with a photo. Well, we all know that person. <laughs> Unless you're talking about. <laughs> I definitely didn't make a meme. <laughs> Someone. <laughs> well, for for those who don't know, is the program's called GIMP. GIMP is like a free fo fo Photoshop. It doesn't have all the same bells and whistles as Photoshop. It doesn't do everything the same as Photoshop. So, it, it's just a cheaper alternative to if you can't afford it. And um, at that end of this video, if you're interested in avatar creation, um, I am going to leave links to Photoshop, GIMP, and Substance Painter down in the description for people to sign up for or get and install if you're interested in it. But 
the, these programs are just basically like Photoshop at a degree. Substance Painter is a 3D model software where you sculpt it out, you paint the texture on, you double check your textures. It's more for like full on 3D modeling. When Photoshop is, you, you want to do a basic retexture, like so, say CC wanted to change this color to blue, wanted to change the color to green. They, they can do that all in Photoshop. Now, GIMP, you're probably not going to be able to do all of that because of the amount of blaster damage, dirt on the model. Because it's going to be fighting yeah. with all of that. And when you try to, it's just going to fight it. Now, when what people don't get is there's different types of textures. And there's Kimp textures, Photoshop textures, and Substance Painter textures. Now, when you're working on an avatar, and they can confirm this, is it better to have the actual physical program that that texture was made in if so why why yeah, why is this better it's better because like you said um nothing it, it won't really mess up anything it will actually make it look good uh, i would say decent too like how this is and um it, it, yes it will some things like the dirt map will look blurry a bit but it's it will still look good for your avatar just as long as you don't really edit anything and just keep it how it is yeah so the bit basically what we're trying to say is well, when it comes to your retextures, ma make sure you at least have something close to or have the specific program that was made in. Because certain textures are going to fight you. For example, the non itchy textures fight GIMP. The reason for this is, is that all non itchy textures were made with Photoshop. Since they were made in Photoshop, they, they're better textured and retextured in Photoshop. If you attempt to do it in GIMP, you have to find a lot of workarounds just to get it to change. Reason being, this original texture did not come from there. It came from Photoshop. For example, when I tried to work on an IG, I had an issue of using GIMP, and I had to have someone come in and help me, mainly due to I kept getting grayed out textures because it was not originally made for GIMP. I had to have someone make it work with GIMP in order for me to change it. And usually people who you ask to usually change it for you, we usually say sure. It doesn't take us that long, right? It's usually just convert it into yeah. what you need. You go to like a website or something, you just cover it. It's not that hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, a lot of people who use other people's avatars use public avatars. Um, we, we both can speak from experience. Um, it, it, it hurts us creators when we have people saying our avatars are horrible or... It, it looks like we slapped something together and we didn't even try. And yeah. we both can confirm this. It, it's hurtful to us. And it's the same as you literally sharing what we made. Because when we make something and we ask you not to share it. And you hand it out for free. It's the equivalent of saying. Uh, screw your, your rules. I'm above you. Now, for me, just like some I can't, people try to say that—that that is what some people try to say. <laughs> and, and a lot of people who who run servers for like military, they they ask you not to share their assets, right? 
they specifically say, please don't share these outside of the server. Now, mm -hmm. coming from someone who I know runs a clone trooper server, well, why is this? Well, why do you say don't share these assets to get the give the audience we, a better understanding? The reason why we don't say don't share these assets, especially from when Evan gave me his so I could edit it and, you know, do my own thing with them, um, it's because they made that specifically for what they love and what they do and the re and that's like you know taking something that re that is in possession of you that you truly love and you desire and it's just taken from you with no precaution or like you know notice or whatever and it hurts them and it hurts, uh, it hurts me, it hurts Dawson for when people do that, because, like, we, we worked hard on them. We really did. We worked, with, I, I'm on Unity and uh, Blender almost every single day working on stuff, and if somebody ripped my stuff, I'd, I'd be heartbroken. I, I already got something stolen from me, which was my Captain Vong avatar, if you remember that. Oh, I remember had, that, like, fiasco. Thing. Yeah, I and remember. everybody was there. Literally, the whole creed was there, and we we had like a whole like meeting about it, and uh, we actually got the person to get rid of that avatar, and then actually uh, that, that, that kind of hurt me a lot because it, it it actually pissed me off. It really did. It triggered me because I made that. I personally. I made that. I made the textures. I made the model. I did everything. I'll actually show you. Hold on. I'll actually show you guys the model. Um, if you ever seen someone wearing this model, but these specific textures, if I could find it, <laughs> uh, it's not. Is, is it here? Okay, no, apparently it's not on this account. But... Uh, I, I'm just going to tell the audience now, us Avatar creators, we, we have a shit ton of shit on our thing. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm some, really of, some of us have doing... thousands upon thousands. Um, a, a, an example, like I said earlier, there's someone named Ghostly. They made this Fox model. The only thing I really added to this was literally the Pip-Boy. I had someone help me retexture my body. I used these eye reused these eyes that someone put out publicly for this model specifically. Cause I like the look yeah. of the eyes. I'm not taking credit for the eyes. I'm not taking credit for this texture because I didn't do this texture. I didn't have Photoshop to do this. So I found someone who did. I I will say this right now. The only oh it's right here, but I can't change it because it's only a quest avatar, but I'm like other accounts like quest NBC. but um <laughs> it, it's on this avatar it, it's on this account it, i i just can't change it to it mm. uh it doesn't rip but um yeah no i also if you also see a couple of people that wear this denol avatar these are not my textures these are a friend's textures that was named bumblebee or or stupid bee as you would call him uh he gave me <laughs> these textures personally so I could put this on and he could wear it again and also I could give my denol in my server this avatar which I did and he allowed me and if I ever seen anybody else with these textures or you know the model itself or whatever because I made this model by myself I made everything by myself uh not the textures though like I said but if anybody if I seen anybody else with this model I, I'd be like what, what happened with Vong I'd flip out and so it'd be. He'd flip out, too. So. Because this is personally his textures. It, this gives people a little bit more scope on how avatar creators feel when stuff is taken. If if an avatar creator and they, they show you the original avatar and they can prove that it's private and you you ask for 
all of the evidence to show it. And they give you all of their evidence of this is theirs. Can you please remove it? Just remove it. Don't fight them with it. I know this is VR chat. I know VR chat doesn't really do anything about it. have the courtesy for the actual maker of these models. Have the courtesy of the model creator themselves. Keep keep it strictly to them and the people that they trusted with it. If you usually when you when you have someone approach you for an avatar and ask you to make a texture for them or a recolor or whatever. We're we're usually pretty chill, right? Yeah. Always. It, Always chill. Well, we never just, we never yell. No, we never do. It's just like I said, when you when you when you give somebody finances that was only made for you and you only and you don't ask us, that's when we get upset. Now, now we can understand if it, you're just asking someone for help with a retexture and you just send them the texture. Well, we can understand mm-hmm. the share of the texture to get a recolor and reskin of a model we made for you and we've already given you your assets, you've already paid for it, it's already done deal. And a lot of avatar creators tend to have a rule where in order to get a retexture of your avatar, that person too has to have that a- avatar purchased. Now, care to explain why that is, so that people can understand that as well? It's it's so that we don't really have a hassle in just redoing the whole texture or avatar itself if anything's wrong with it. Because it'll it'll just cause us more issues than we really need. Because uh, when it comes to an avatar, if like say someone releases an avatar, you buy it off a of Gumroad. You love the avatar. That avatar comes out with an update on that specific website. Your friend got it off of you, and they they don't have access to this update. Only you do. So your your friend, you've just duped your friend, and you're always gonna get updated. Your thing's always gonna get all of this nice new things, and your friend's stuck with all of these old things, right? He can't really do yeah. anything. They they can't do nothing about it, because the only person they can literally go to is you. Yeah, but if. If you did something like I, like we were talking about earlier to you know give away assets that's our, that was made specifically for you and only you, uh, that's no. It, we want to help you in any way, in shape or form. That it, that's basically like breaking rules and breaking quote unquote your chat laws for what. Oh, they don't give say. a care anymore. We they they've already changed our TOS. If we upload anything here, it's theirs to reuse. Mm-hmm. So th- this is something that sort of peeves some of us avatar creators. We've sort of just gotten over it. Well, we we don't care anymore, so we just started continuing what we were doing. Because yeah. we, we want people to learn this stuff. We want people to make their own. And we we want mm-hmm. you to go out there, make a name for yourself. Um, when, when it comes to, you, you say you start opening commissions. Um, well, we can both agree. Never have someone pay you until you have finished your work. And you have had it all finished, and you can prove that it's finished, and you know that it's ready to use. Because it gives all VR chat creators a bad name. Because literally, you've just sold someone out of money. They may have spent like $200 for that model. 
You've literally just duped them I've out of their money. I've seen a lot of model creators uh, do a really shitty job at white painting in their avatars, and they sell in anyway, and I'm just like, really? I paid like $30 for this avatar, and you gave me this? Yeah. Um, go- ghostly models, um, they're, they're a little difficult. Go- ghostly, I specifically said, um, that they sell the separate asset packs for, like, all your different shirts, all your different clothes, cut, so that people can put them on. But even Ghostly had the courtesy of saying, you're gonna have to reway paint anything you want to add on to this avatar yourself. They, they, they had the courtesy of telling you, hey, if you want to add the new outfit on, you gotta way paint, you gotta learn it. It's gonna be a hassle for you. If you you don't know how, go into Ghostly Server. Go, go find the creator themselves. We we can both agree on this. Find the creator themselves. Ask them for help. They will be more than down to put it on. Some will I've do done, it for a I've fee. Some will do it for a fee. Some won't. Mm-hmm. If they do it for a fee. You can be like, I'm going to ask it around a little bit, see if I can find anyone cheaper if they ask for a large amount. And if you find someone cheaper, make sure to double check with friends, people who they've done stuff with before, and make sure they're trustworthy. Because I've had a lot of friends who have paid for a model. They paid for it to get way painted because they wanted to put a new outfit on. And that person took over three hundred and seventy-five dollars and ran. They just ran out the door. Yep. And th- this is something we we stress to have every single day because people are afraid to come to the avatar creator themselves and ask for help. Now you don't have to ask the avatar creator, correct? No, you don't have to. Well, when it comes to making a model, and when it comes to making this stuff, especially for yourself, especially if you're starting out, uh, we 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 highly recommend you use VRC mods. It, e- yeah. Even though those models may may not be the best or might not have something you're specifically looking for. Or like have the thing you want. Fi- find the find the model that you fall in love with. Find the model that you like. Start there. Learn how to texture. Learn how to or, edit things. Or do DeviantArt. Or do DeviantArt. You know, or, yeah. or you can do DeviantArt. Have people commission you to do their artwork for their rough sheets are for their characters. You can make a couple hundred bucks off of that. I know some people who like make bank doing that. And they've been able to afford like really, really expensive avatars that I I don't even know. <laughs> we we can both agree there's no point to buying an avatar over like four hundred dollars. Yeah. That, the ones that you can actually make yourself when if you learn enough. Yeah. But the, this is to give new people who are looking to make avatars, looking to make their own things, um, a little more insight. Do you have anything else you would like to add for future avatar creators or people who are interested in not, making their own? Not that I know of. Really. All right. Thank you so much, CC, for giving us your insight in no avatar creation. I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there will be thankful for this information. We'll take it to heart. Learn how to make their own models. We hope you take this to heart. We know a lot of you out there can make these models, make beautiful things, make wonderful worlds, and all of this stuff usually starts with an idea and it usually comes from 
other creators, other people you've seen make worlds, and those worlds. Games. Yeah, that too. And the those worlds, those other games that you play, you you can make those things if you put your effort in time and you love the passion. You you can make all of this stuff and you you can do all of it if you put your mind to it. If you do if you do it by heart, you you can do this. And coming from two with experience, we can both agree on this. Yeah. All it's, it might be a pain at first, but it's it's worth it all the way. I, I am I'm nonstop making models and models <laughs> and when I started learning and it's 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 a real habit and I need to stop but I can't. You, even it's hopping's like even hopping feels sorry for you. Because <laughs> <laughs> at, at Geonosis they were like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, when it comes to server stuff, um, it, it's a hassle for dev teams usually, and it's a hassle for them to pump stuff out. And what people don't get is the, these devs are working day in, day out, but um, they never ask for help. Some of them work together on projects. If you run a server... Well, if you work for a server... Don't, don't hound your dev team. Your dev team gets things done when they can. Because you need to remember this is just a game. It's meant to have fun. It's not meant to be like real life. I know we're all in COVID. I know we're all in lockdown. I know. <laughs> and people make this game like their second life. Yeah. Take it seriously. And y- yes still watch out what you say in this game cuz e- even if you think the words you're saying are not nice are they won't hurt the person the- they're most likely going to hurt the person cuz keep in mind all your words carry merit e- even if you're in a server your words carry merit for that server the and there, there's another video that I might not ever release or I might release in the future that goes over this type of stuff, how words and merit for servers on this game work. I'm probably never going to release it. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. You took a few off of it. You took a few points and tips. If you're getting in... To avatar creation like cc said look at youtube you'll find a lot of good videos on there that can help you along your way and i hope to see you all in the next video thank you so much for coming cc thank you so no much problem. for sitting in this video <laughs> No problem. <laughs> and i hope to see all of you in the next one <laughs>